Welcome to Wellness for Life. My name is Missy Lindo. I'm a physical therapist assistant and lifestyle counselor with the Weight Management Center at CHI St. Joseph's Health in Park Rapids. Today I'm excited to introduce you to a valuable member of our team, Tia Koka. Tia received her bachelor's in nursing from the University of Jamestown. Tia also works as a certified bariatric nurse and certified diabetes educator. Tia plays an important role in helping our patients understand how healthy weight management can serve as a treatment for metabolic conditions. Today, Tia is going to talk with you about the metabolic benefits of healthy weight management, including surgical and medical weight management. Thank you, Missy. Metabolic syndrome is a group of risk factors that increase your risk for diabetes, heart attack, and stroke. Metabolic syndrome, sometimes referred to as Syndrome X, is on the rise in the world as obesity continues to rise. Risk factors for developing metabolic syndrome include waist circumference. Having an elevated waist circumference or greater than 35 for a woman and greater than 40 for a man puts you at an increased risk of having metabolic syndrome. Elevated triglycerides. Triglycerides are a form of fat in your blood. Having an elevated triglyceride of greater than 150 or being on cholesterol medication puts you at risk. HDL. HDL is also a part of your cholesterol. HDL is the good cholesterol. I remember it by H for healthy. And the healthy cholesterol takes away the bad cholesterol in your arteries. For a woman, you want it to be greater than 50 and for a man, greater than 40. If these levels are not there, that puts you at a risk of metabolic syndrome or being on cholesterol medication. Having elevated blood pressure, a blood pressure of greater than 135 over 85 or being on blood pressure medication can put you at risk. Also having elevated blood sugar, a blood sugar of less than 100 is considered normal. 100 to 125 is a considered pre-diabetes and 126 or greater is considered a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. Having three of these risk factors does consider a diagnosis of metabolic syndrome. So this is what happens when you typically eat. You eat food, it goes into your stomach, and it breaks down into glucose or sugar. That goes into your bloodstream, a pancreas is signal to make insulin, and insulin I think of as like a key. It unlocks the cell wall, lets the glucose in, and that's what fuels your body to give you energy. Now there's three different types of diabetes, type one, type two, and gestational. Type one typically occurs in early adults or younger children. However, it can occur in later in life. With type one diabetes, the pancreas is attacked and no longer makes insulin. So these patients need insulin for the rest of their life to survive. Type two diabetes is the more common type of diabetes. It can occur at any age, and it's in large part due to insulin resistance. So the pancreas is still making insulin, but it's like the wrong key. The key can't unlock the cell and it can't let the sugar in. And so in turn, there's a lot of sugar in the bloodstream and people have high blood sugar. The third type is gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes occurs during pregnancy and typically resolves after. Risk factors for developing type two diabetes include hypertension, being overweight, having had a baby greater than nine pounds, having had gestational diabetes, having a family history of diabetes or ethnic groups. Symptoms of diabetes include increased thirst, increased hunger, frequent urination, extreme fatigue, weight loss, blurred vision, and numbness and tingling in the hands or feet. So how is metabolic syndrome treated? It's treated with medications, losing and maintaining weight, eating a healthy diet, managing stress, physical activity, quitting smoking, and bariatric surgery. Knowing your BMI, also referred to as body mass index, is important to help you develop a plan for yourself. As shown on the screen, a BMI of less than 18.5 is considered underweight. 18.5 to 24.9 is considered normal range. 25 to 29.9, overweight. 30 to 34.9, class one obesity. 35 to 40, class two obesity, and greater than 40, class three obesity. A BMI of greater than 25 does indicate some need for lifestyle modification. A BMI of greater than 35 would qualify someone for surgery. You can calculate your BMI by going to the Weight Management Center, CHI St. Joseph's website on the bottom of your screen. 
Weight loss of just 10% of your excess body weight can decrease your blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar levels. We do have treatment options for you here at CHI St. Joseph's Health Weight Management Center. These treatment options include medical weight management and surgical options. The surgical options include Roux-en-Y, sleeve gastrectomy, and duodenal switch. All of these procedures produce weight loss and improvement of many aspects of metabolic syndrome. With bariatric surgery, we see a 60 to 80% resolution of hypertension, a 90% improvement of cholesterol. Weight loss of just 10% does show improvement with sleep apnea. However, bariatric surgery, we do see resolution with sleep apnea. We also see immediate drops in insulin levels. And with type 2 diabetes, we see a 60% remission rate of type 2 diabetes, meaning that these patients are no longer on any type 2 diabetes medications. With both type 1 and type 2, we do see improvement in both of their blood sugars after surgery. With our medical weight management program, we have a team of providers, which include a physician assistant, a lifestyle counselor, a registered dietitian, an exercise physiologist, and a certified diabetes educator. This team of providers works with you to create an individualized plan for your success. Thanks, Tia. Society often puts pressures on us about maintaining a certain weight, when truly, as Tia mentioned, maintaining a healthy weight is, helps us experience better health. We are here with you as we walk through this journey together. If you have any questions or if you're struggling with metabolic syndrome, our team is here to help you along your journey. Please contact us on the number on the screen. We look forward to visiting with you soon. Thank you for watching Wellness for Life.